Hi, I'm Jacques DeVoe from Audio Kinetic. In this quick tip video, we're going to look at how you can partially load your WISE project. As your project advances and gets larger and larger, especially with dialogue that can easily be in the hundreds of thousands of files, partial loading allows you to selectively choose which work units you want to load and unload, basically making your project load a lot faster. The side effect of this is also having more memory available and generally increase the performance of WISE. If we look at this project, you can see that I've set up a series of work units. To unload a work unit, all I need to do is right-click on the work unit and select Unload Work Unit. So basically now if I reload this project, you can now see that the minigun work unit is unloaded, so it has not been loaded. And if we look at now an event that is associated to this particular object, I'll double-click on Play Minigun, here you can see that any events and actions that are associated to objects contained within that work unit are now unreferenced. So you have unloaded added here. So these are all unloaded event actions that won't particularly play right now. Unloaded references are displayed for more than event actions. They're also displayed for dialogue events, music stingers, music transitions, queries, sound banks, and soundcaster sessions. At any point in time you want to reload that work unit, all you need to do then is simply right click on the work unit and then select the load work unit option, which I'll do now. All content is loaded for that work unit and now you'll see that the references were rebuilt for the event actions. So that's it. So hopefully now you have a better understanding of how you can selectively load and unload work units. Thanks and see you next time.